just got a nightmare. I'm scared. First, you will need to create your scene with your teenager bedroom scene in Plotagon. And you're going to be creating the scene over here. This is where the character is going to be laid down on the bed. And you're going to create the scene with no character. Now you can just go ahead and render. You want to create yourself a folder for this project if you want to try it, where you're going to place all those scenes. Okay, so once once this step is done, we're going to go ahead and select the character okay, by going uh, to character. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to edit your character. You will go to the section where is the shoes or the pants, the bottoms, for to have the full body of the character. Okay, and we're gonna use, we're gonna turn it, so we want to have her sideways to go on the bed. Okay, and then we're gonna give her an expression. We're gonna try to find something that uh, she will have her eyes closed. Let's see. Try this, and then you're gonna use the snap picture. So make sure the background is green, okay, of your character. No, it didn't work. Okay, next one. I'm gonna fix her again. Perfect, I'm satisfied with this. So we're gonna click on share to save it as, as a picture. Then we'll need to go on the Wondershare Filmora 9. I use this program to combine both of the picture of the girl with the eyes closed and the scene of, um, of the room that we did. Yeah, I'm selecting them. They're here. So now if you need to have uh, some um, tutorial on uh, Wondershare Filmora. Uh, there's many of them already on YouTube. Um, the purpose of this video is just to show you how I do uh, the scene with the blanket. Okay, so first layer is always uh, the image uh, that goes under and since the girl goes on top of the bed it's the second image. And we're going to remove the green around over here. Okay, so we'll need to go on properties over here. First, I'm going to uh, size it. Uh, no, sorry. Let's go first uh, to remove the green. Okay, and I'm just going to adjust it. So we have the maximum of the clarity of the image of the girl only. Okay. So I think this is good. Now I'm going to go back on the properties and now I'm going to size it and rotate. Go from here. Okay. And I'm going to select it to drag it and place it where I want it, the head on the pillow. I'm going to resize it a little bit more smaller. And don't worry about the feet coming out of the bed. We're going to remove all that. Okay. So once I'm satisfied with the image, I'm just going to do OK and I'm going to take a snap picture right here. You have the camera and I'm going to snap 
picture and it's going to save in my document of Wondershare. So you're going to select that picture uh, and you're going to right click and I'm going to open with the 3D paint, but you can also open it with paint if you need to. And that's where uh, the fun is going to be starting. Okay, we can see over here. So the image is now here and uh, we're just going to go ahead and play with uh, the coloring, like just to design it, the blanket on top of the girl. So you go ahead and have fun with this. Once you're satisfied, you can just go ahead and save it. Don't forget to save because all this hard work will be lost. You just save it. And once it's saved, you can close it. Now we're going to go back in Plotagon and we're going to go and create the sequence of the scene. So uh, we're going to select our character again and we're gonna go ahead and sit her on the bed okay. so you just go ahead and be creative the way you want the sequence to go from her laying down to the bed uh, and the sequence of the scene Now uh, for putting together uh, what we have created, the keyframe frame uh, with the teen under the blanket and um, the scene that we just created, her sitting on a bed. Uh, to put them all together, I'm going to use Wondershare Filmora 9 uh, because I find that it's a more friendly user and faster to use. Uh, but if you, you can use any other kind of video editing. So here I'm placing the picture of the girl under the blanket and the scene right after. I'm going to add a filter. In between a transition. And we'll see uh, if it works good. Okay, it's a little bit slow in between, so I'm just going to put the transition um, a little bit smaller. See what it does. And I think I'm satisfied with this over here. So you can go ahead and render or finalize your pro project with uh, any other uh, scenes to follow. And this is the way I do it. I'm not an expert. I just like I'm a self-taught person. Um, so I just wanted to share as some of you had asked how I did um, my teen under the blanket. So hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for staying with me.